looking at an assault and battery. I know Boston is looking at an indecent uh, sexual assault, and some of them also had two similar assaults back in April. Um, that is at the point, that is the similarities. We're still waiting to determine from uh, information shared with both agencies to see if they're even possibly related. But I mean, did the man come from behind in all these attacks? Or what, was there a pattern here? What is it that... The Boston case, I'm not sure uh, what the details are. And on the Sullivan case, I'm not, I'm not sure what the details are on that also. But I am, uh, I do know the Cambridge saw where the woman was grabbed from behind. So right now, the only connection is that these things happened. They did happen. It's not so much that, are the descriptions similar? Is there any common denominator? that's <laughs> Again, again, we're sharing information with both, both Boston and some of the police to determine if they are associated. Uh, it's too early in our investigation to say that they are not. What is the description of, of the man um, that is similar to what would be I can doing? tell you the, uh, the description from the May 20th assault on Pleasant Street was a white or Hispanic male, uh, 6'2", in uh, height and thin built. Can you go through what happened? We had a 30-year-old Cambridge resident female who was walking on Pleasant Street just before midnight. She was uh, grabbed from behind. The suspect put both his hands around her mouth and attempted to drag her to the ground. She fought off the suspect and she fled to uh, River Street where she came across uh, two people walking on River Street and they assisted her with calling the Cambridge police. So Since what a rape actually occurred? No. What it has right now, it's our, the Cambridge Pleasant Street uh, incident is uh, being termed at this point in our investigation as an assault battery. So when you consider the whole picture possibly linked from Cambridge to Somerville to Boston, what are your thoughts? My thought is this, and I know it's the thought of the Cambridge police and the detectives, that we have to be... Uh, we have to be very careful on sharing information with both agencies and if there's information that can be shared that could link one person to these similar crimes, then all three agencies really have to sit down and go over all this information. And what happened to May 31st? Was that May 31st was a sexual assault that we believe is a completely separate crime that is not associated. That's still early in the, in the investigation. So are there five? Assaults right now that you're looking at? Two in Cambridge that we're looking at. Uh, and we believe the uh, Memorial Day sexual assault is completely separate from this incident, from the May 20th Pleasant Street assault. So between Boston, Somerville, and Cambridge, the ones that you are looking at, you're talking about four? We're just, we're just looking at the Cambridge assaults. Uh, the Cambridge assault on May 20th is the only incident that we're, we're looking at that may be compared to the Somerville and Boston. Okay. Can you talk about the forensic evidence that you found? I, we captured some forensic evidence at the scene, and that's what I can tell you at this point, and that it is at the Mass State Police lab. So you can't tell us what it is? No. But if the evidence, when well, you've gathered enough evidence to rule out a connection between that one and the May 31st? We hope, and I, we hope that that evidence uh, will help us uh, have a uh, successful conclusion to the case. So what's the larger message here, then, as we look at all of these different assaults that have been occurring? Um, certainly, I'm sure, you know, be very concerned. Well, I think any police department, be it some of the Boston or Cambridge, uh, they can give the same message to women, in particular. When you're out walking late at night, um, be cognizant of your surroundings. Walk with somebody if you can. Don't wear headphones. Don't wear an iPod, an iPod or talk on a cell phone. And just be always aware of your surroundings. Be careful.